Hello dear Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh The first day that I met you My heart and my mind told me right away That you are the one I found my missing piece Do you know that when I close my eyes I see you When I open my eyes I see you There is nothing that I can do To stop thinking of you I will show you that I am the best husband to take care of many responsibilities to make sure that I'll look after you to guide you to the right path and to show you what real love is till my very last breath I love you silly girl My dear beloved brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to witness as well as to celebrate the solemnization of Homan Wong and Elias Muhammad Wong with Nur Fatiha bin Abdul Rahman. Let us begin by making a supplication and a prayer so that the both of them will be able to find happiness, peace, prosperity in their marriage, and may it be one that is blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Marriage is a practice of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In a famous hadith, he said, "An nikahu sunnati, nikah or marriage is my practice. Faman rohiba an sunnati, whoever dislikes this practice of mine, falay saminni, then he is not from amongst me." But as much as Islam encourages marriage, Islam also discourages divorce. It should always be the last resort if there is ever to be any conflict, disagreement, or argument between husband and wife. I would like to begin by addressing Mr. Homan Wong. As husband, it is your duty and responsibility to lead your wife and your family to live a life that is most pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the way for you to do this is for you to first set a good example to your wife and to your children. And if you do so, then it will become easier for all of them to follow in your footsteps and take you as their leader. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us, He said, أَعُونُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّوْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا قُوْ أَنفُسَكُمْ وَأَهْلِكُمْ نَارًا Surah Allah Al-Azim, which means, O oh, you who believe, protect yourselves and your loved ones from the potential torments of the hellfire. Mr. Homan Wong, as husband, it is also part of your basic duty and responsibility to treat your wife with utmost love, respect, and affection. In the Quran, Allah also mentions, "A'udhu billahi min shaitanir rajim, wa ashiruhunna bil ma'roof." Surah Allah Azim, which means, and interact with your wife with kindness. On the same topic, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, peace be upon him, he said that a person whose faith is most complete is the one with good character and the one who always treats his wife with compassion. Mr. Homan Wong, as husband, it is also part of your basic duty and responsibility to ensure that your wife's daily needs are being adequately met. Your ability to perform this duty well shall only add on to the happiness and peace that you will be able to have at home. However, failure to do so will not only invite problems in this lifetime, but in the hereafter, we believe that as husbands and fathers, we shall be accountable for those under our care. Next, I would like to address Ms. Nur Fatiha, Binti Abdullah. 
Nur Fatiha as wife, it is your duty and responsibility to help your husband build a happy and harmonious family. And one of the ways to achieve this is for you to have the attributes in which the Prophet ﷺ had described in one of his hadiths. He said, the attributes of a good wife is one who strives to make her husband happy. And whenever she is asked to perform something which does not go against the religion, then she shall perform it immediately. And when her husband is away from her, then she shall always protect her honor and her dignity and also help to protect her husband's properties. I would also like to remind the both of you that if one day you are both blessed with offspring and children of your own, then it shall become your shared responsibility to raise them well, to become uh, filial, loyal, and pious children who will not only benefit your family, but also the community in Shah. And last but not least, it's an important reminder, if the both of you were to ever face with any challenges during the course of your marriage, I would like to impart some advice to the both of you. Firstly, for you to maintain patience, for you to communicate with each other respectfully and clearly, and for you to try to build a good bond in your relationship with God. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran as a promise, I will build the shaytan al rajim. Whoever has taqwa and piety towards Allah, then he shall always show them a way out of their problems. And he shall also provide from sources where they least expect. So this, my dear brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, is the brief sermon for the benefit of the bride and the groom. And we hope and we pray for the happiness, the longevity of the marriage, and for the success of the family. May their marriage bring more happiness to all of us, friends and family, and also more importantly to the community, to the nation, and to the Ummah. Ameen, Ya Rabbal Alameen. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim, wa nafa'ani wa iyaak bima fihi minal ayat wa tikri al-Hakim, wa taqabbala minni wa minkum tilawatahu innahu wa s-sami al-Alim. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات فاستغفروه فيفوز المستغفرين ويا نجاة الدائبين. Before we proceed, I will uh, get the permission of the Wali, Mr. Abdul Rahman. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. أي Abdul Rahman bin Abu Bakar. Father Du, Nur Fatiha bin Abdul Rahman, give you Nat Badi, Muhammad Tarmizi bin Abdul Wahid, to celebrate my daughter, to Oman Wong, Alaya Muhammad Wong, give the Maharov. Okay, so before we proceed, I would like to invite those in attendance to recite the Shahada together once, followed by Istighfar to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala three times. And we do this in seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all our past sins and wrongdoing. And we also hope that by doing so, both of them, Fatiha and Homan, will be able to enter into this new phase of their life on a fresh new footing and beginning, inshaAllah. I mean, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد رسول الله أستغفر الله العظيم أستغفر الله العظيم أستغفر الله العظيم الذي لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم وأتوب إليه So uh, let us give our fullest attention to the two registered witnesses, Mr. Abu Hassan and Mr. Jeffrey. Let's 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 Ready? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Antahtuka wa zawajtuka ala ma amar Allahu bihi min imsaqin bi ma'aruf wa tasrihim bi ihsan. Homan Wang, Elias Muhammad Wang, I give you Nur Fatiha binti Abdul Rahman in nikah and in marriage by the authority given to me by the father of the bride with the mahar of the ring. 
I accept the Fatiha Binti Al-Duraman in Ipa and Merit with a Mahavari. La, congratulations. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء وسيد المرسلين سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين بارك الله لكما وعليكما وفي كل خير جمع بينكما اللهم ألك بينهما المحبة والوداد وهديهما سبيل التقوى والرشاد وطول أعمارهما في رغد الإنش والسرور ودوام الهناء وانشراح السرور واجمع بينهما على كمال الوفاق والإئتلاف مرزقهما النسل الصالح من الأولاد والبنات حتى يؤم الأفاد والأسباب Oh Allah, please bless this couple with everlasting love and compassion just as how you have blessed Adam and Eve alayhi salam just as how you have blessed Abraham and his wife alayhi salam just as how you have blessed Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam with Sayyidatina Aisha radiallahu anha and Sayyidatina Khadija radiallahu anha ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين On every occasion that I, woman Wong, Elias Muhammad Wong, leave my wife Nafa Tia Binti Adraman for a continuous period of four months or more intentionally or unintentionally or fail to maintain her for the set period where she is obedient to me or commit any action that causes injury to her body or damage to her property or causes her to lose self-respect and my wife complains to the Chariah court and if her complaint is approved, is approved then she is divorced by one talaq. Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, with that we have reached the end of today's ceremony and Homan and Nur Fatiha are now officially husband and wife, Alhamdulillah. So let us all give them our fullest support and if uh, we ever feel that we can offer some good advice if they go through challenges during the course of the marriage as with every other marriage, then we shall do so with a sincere intention and with a wise approach, inshallah. And also never fail to continue praying for the happiness in this lifetime as well as in the hereafter. I mean.
daughter's what our future holds I hope she has your eyes Finds love like you and I did And if she falls in love, we'll let her go